This is a homemade cloud chamber that I've set up. What I'm doing, I have a radioactive source here on this stick right here and I'm putting it inside the chamber and I can see that alpha particles make trails as they fly off the, uh, the, the uh, radioactive source. That's the source I got in, and you can see my other video about tearing apart a smoke detector. That's where I got the source from. It's from a smoke detector. And there's a fog, or it's not a fog, but it's a super uh, hu humid alcohol condition in at on the base of the uh, cloud chamber. And you can see the trails of the alpha particles when they fly through the fog. It's kind of hard to see which is why I'm using a flashlight. They're not consistent to one minute you'll see them and then you won't see them for a few seconds and then you'll see a whole bunch. I'll show you how I made this cloud chamber here in a moment. There, I just saw a few alpha particles zoom off. I'll turn it in another direction now. This is a pan I bought, a baking pan I bought in the store, a little aluminum pan. Right here's another one I haven't used yet. You can buy that in any kitchen store and it has a plastic lid. So we've been looking through the plastic lid inside into the pan and you see the bottom's black. I spray painted the bottom with black paint. It makes it easier to see the, the trails that the alpha particles will leave in the uh, alcohol vapor. And either side you see here and here I cut a sponge, a kitchen sponge in half and soaked it with alcohol, 91% uh, isopropyl alcohol. And uh, I'm cooling the whole thing. If you look down here that's a big five pound block of dry ice that the whole thing is sitting on right here that makes the bottom of the pan really cool and the sponges are soaking warm alcohol I, I warmed the alcohol up a little bit so it makes a super critical condition down at the uh, bottom here if I touch the bottom you see you can see little cloud like that little wisps of alcohol just from me touching it's it's ready to form a cloud but not quite it's super critical and what I'll do uh, I'll take the radioactive uh, source it's a mer americium 241 from a smoke detector and set it down here and the alpha particles when they come out you have to look very carefully they're hard to see um, but you can uh, see them and there's not enough light right now so what I would do is uh, f shine a flashlight on it makes it easier to see it'll leave streaks in the in uh, cloud droplet streaks when uh, the alpha particles fly through the alcohol vapor it's actually a very simple setup I think it only cost me well, the sponge was free. It was underneath my kitchen counter. 
the pan is about two dollars and the dry ice is about eight dollars US so it's only about ten dollars total this setup if I wanted to improve it of course I made a hole here in the plastic lid this is not a perfect setup because the lid it's clear but it's not perfectly clear like glass so it's hard to see the uh, al the uh, alpha particle trails through this so I would look through the door also with a, a lid it's hard to film because the camera has a tendency to focus on the lid instead of the inside but if you're very careful you actually can run it with the lid off it works better with the lid on though if you want to create alcohol trails with the alpha particles anyway that's my cloud chamber setup